We've been on multiple pan-India road trips with a whole bunch of cars. Petrol cars, diesel cars, electric cars. And one thing that we have not done is a road trip with a CNG. That is what we are addressing with this car, the Tata Altros iCNG. We are going to go on the golden quadrilateral, starting off here in Mumbai, then going north to Delhi, Kolkata, Chennai, Bangalore, and back to Mumbai. It's going to be a five, six thousand kilometer road trip around two weeks, and we are going to be running only this CNG vehicle to be answering all the myths around CNG cars. What is the performance? What is the range? What is the cost benefit of running a car on CNG? What is the CNG fueling infrastructure like across the country? And can you road trip in a CNG vehicle? That's what we are going to find out in this video. The boys are going to flag off from the Tata Motors office here in Mumbai and then we're going to hit the road. The Golden Quadrilateral is a national highway network that connects four major cities of Delhi in the north, Kolkata in the east, Chennai in the south and Mumbai in the west. It is the largest highway project in India and the fifth largest in the world. The term CNG often creates a doubt in people's minds, especially when it comes to long distance road trips. The lack of boot space, the lack of power, unavailability of CNG pumps and what not. But we are going to clear all these myths and doubts while we drive this Altros iCNG in CNG mode on the Golden Quadrilateral. And once I'm back in Pune, I'll ask Siresh for a long vacation. Let me tell you about the Altros iCNG that we are driving. It is powered by a 3-cylinder 1.2-litre petrol motor, making 87 bhp and 115 nm of torque in petrol mode. In CNG, it gives 72.5 bhp and 103 nm. You can even start the Altros iCNG in CNG mode only, a feature that isn't available in any other hatchback. This has been made possible because Tata Motors has engineered the car to run on one ECU instead of two. And it also makes the switch from petrol to CNG a seamless affair. The twin cylinders of the Altros iCNG are about 60 litres in capacity, which translates to approximately 9 kilograms of CNG. What we are going to do is drive the Altros iCNG at about 80 kilometres per hour to strike a balance between speed and efficiency. Also, we will be refueling after every 150 to 200 kilometres. Let's get going, we've got a lot of kilometres to cover. While driving to Kanpur via the Yamuna Expressway, we also decided to visit the Taj Mahal in Agra. The rear structure of the Altros iCNG was re-engineered to fit these two tanks and also ensure crashworthiness was not compromised and you get usable boot space. We've just had a 15th refuel after 2700 kilometers and let me bust one of the big myths about CNG. Filling CNG takes a long time. No, it does not. It takes the same amount of time that it would take to fill a petrol car. What we have seen is, in, fill, pay and out has averaged 5 to 6 minutes. The average wait time has been 1 to 2 minutes on the pumps which are on the highway and 4 to 5 minutes which are near the city. Also, unlike other CNG cars where you have to open the bonnet to refill CNG, the Altros iCNG allows you to refill CNG by just opening the fuel filler lid. We are close to the 3000 km mark or 2985 km to be exact driving the Altros iCNG on the Golden Quadrilateral. And honestly, the Altros iCNG has really impressed us with the way it rides and handles. There's enough power in the engine to help you make those overtakes or cruise at highway speeds. The seats are very comfortable and you're sitting at a very good position while driving. The steering feels responsive and the gear shifting is very smooth too. 
in terms of the undulations or bumpy surfaces that we have come across, the Altros ICNG has delivered straight A's on that front as well. We reached Kolkata, which was the halfway mark for us on this drive. One of the doubts about owning a CNG car is cost. So let's talk some maths. The average running cost of a petrol car is rupees 6 per kilometer, and that of a CNG car is rupees 2.5. That means a saving of rupees 3.5 making the CNG a cost-effective proposition in the longer run. As far as the price of CNG is concerned in the country, it has been fluctuating around Rs. 73 to Rs. 95 per kilogram. And if we look at the cost of petrol, we all know where it is. Now that you know all about the specs of the Altros ICNG and its groundbreaking twin-cylinder tech, let's talk about the features that it comes equipped with. It gets auto headlamps, which is a premium feature. The door opens 90 degrees, making in and out of the car very easy. Inside these leatherette seats are very comfortable. You have a height adjuster, so I have my seat adjusted to the ideal driving position, giving me proper view of the road and a very comfortable driving position. It also gets a very special feature and my personal favorite, open sunroof. Okay, opening sunroof. A voice assisted sunroof. It also gets a 7 inch Harman infotainment touchscreen with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, a wireless charger making sure our phones are juiced up all through this trip, and an air purifier. Such and since you're seated at the back seat, tell me, how is it back there? It's very spacious out here. The floor is flat. We've got an armrest here, a rear AC vent, and uh, it's very spacious here for long journeys and all. I have a very good legroom here, according to Rohan's driving position. And everything feels very comfortable here. We have just topped up the Altros ICNG and before we hit the road, let's discuss another pain point. Are CNG cars safe enough? A big yes, and the Altros ICNG takes safety a notch above. This is a micro switch that automatically cuts off the ignition as soon as you open the fuel lid, which ensures it is off till the lid is securely closed. The ICNG technology also detects any gas leaks, and if there is any, it will automatically switch to petrol mode. A fire extinguisher smartly tucked under the driver's seat. And one very important safety feature that makes the Altros ICNG a cut above the rest is thermal incident protection. The ICNG technology will immediately cut off CNG supply to the engine in case of a thermal incident and start to release the gas from the cylinders using a special nozzle directly into the atmosphere as a safety measure. We started the final part of our road trip from Chennai, driving the Altros ICNG towards Mumbai. This is our final CNG refueling stop before we reach Mumbai, which is our last destination on this drive. And while we have been busting myths all across this journey, driving the Altros ICNG on the Golden Quadrilateral, let me bust one more myth. Are CNG stations available across the country? A big yes. And it's time to bring the boring numbers back in action. The government aims to have 8,000 functional CNG stations by 2024. And currently, we are sitting at above 5,000 CNG stations. And if you look at it, that is a fair number of CNG stations from 2014, which was just 1,000. And it's time to refill the Altros ICNG for the 31st and the last time on this journey. We've reached Mumbai, the last and final stop of the Altros ICNG on the G-Quad, driving the Altros ICNG on the Golden Coordinator for the last two weeks. We hope we were able to bust a few myths, clear all your questions and doubts about CNG cars. If you have any more of them, you can drop them in the comments section. And before I go, let's do some maths. The maths 
of this road trip. We traveled 6,308 kilometers, consuming 198.44 kilograms of CNG at a total cost of rupees 17,290. Now, if you were driving on the Golden Quadrilateral in a petrol only car, you would have consumed 420 liters at a cost of rupees 44,100. Now, taking in mind the cost of petrol at 105 rupees per liter and your car giving you an average of 15 km per liter. Let's talk about money saved. While driving in CNG mode, we saved rupees 26,881 and that is massive. What would you with the money we saved? Would you invest it somewhere or would you go all out spending it?